Excellency. The time is now. What time is it, Anne Marie? 439 recording and his excellency is right here in robertson our room fridge is not missing not as yet we'll wait until wednesday and see his excellency is right here right here boom viewers subscribers back again with these quick updates because trust if it's not for and from king mix up it's not credible i keep on telling you that you don't know the thing said people big up the writers them to this netflix series the pathways it's immersive because, you know, we got hit with the season finale the other day when Pastor Boy, um, you know, was allegedly demised um, by a car accident. But as you can see, people, there will be no resurrection for the preacher boy. You see me, I say, I'm sorry to tell his congregation, you see me, but um, he's no longer alive. You see me, I say, Robert's funeral home. Um, big up the employees, they leaked this demon in the body bag. You see, my son? But me know his congregation, them still believes he's alive. And they're gonna, um, wanna see proof of his body. You know, you can't just show somebody in a body bag and, and say, I them that, you know what I mean? But hopefully we'll see, um, the pastor's body at his funeral. Hopefully somebody goes live. But me just, they want updating on that. You see, my son? But we have some serious matters to address today, people. Because, you see, somebody has to get charged for these um, heinous acts. You see me, I say? And his partner, uh, Mr. Ruddock, is being charged today. He'll be in court. And we're going to take a look at um, who this individual is. You see me, I say? Also, it has been brought to my attention that you got teachers. Teachers that's a part of this church. People just think about Jasmine Dean before we divulge into that argument that you see me asking. And also, I want to go over this tr this accident, this truck collision with the preacher boy. Because like I said, people, he got rammed intentionally. You see me asking? And I have video footage of um to back up what I was saying. And you know, so I'm going to update to know some other stuff too. But before we get into all of that, people, hit the like button from now and share on all social media platforms. Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram. You see my accent? Yeah, let's continue. Continue. Okay, like I said, people, the man accused of killing Tanika Gardner. I wonder if she's related to Eric Gardner, who also lost his life um, in a heinous act in America. But nevertheless, International Church and St. James last week. Andre Ruddock is to appear in the home circuit court in downtown Kingston tomorrow. He's scheduled to appear before the court at 10 a.m. And you know this went up already, so I'm going to have to update to know later. Hit the like button and subscribe. You see me? Okay. Ruddock is appearing, by the way, a voluntary bill of indictment by the Director of Public Prosecutions, Paula Lewinia, whatever her name is. It's understood that the prosecutor will personally sign the indictment. Ruddock, who was a close associate of the cult leader Kevin Smith, was transported to Kingston to face charges of murder and wounding with intent. Uh, it's alleged that Gardner's throat was slashed as part of the ritual sacrifice. And you know, sir, life insurance scam. You see me, I say. So the mafia investigate this hombre's financial records and See if they can find any text messages like they did Vibes Cartel and Sean Storm and all of them. You see me, I said. But just giving that update with that, at least the partner has been charged um, for these heinous acts. Let's proceed. Oh, and before I forget, um, he also had a criminal past, just like the pastor boy. You see me, I said. And I don't know why this is just news now, because I did it the other day that he was deported from Canada for buying Bati. You see me, I said, or failing to buy back to you, see me. But we see the DPP was releasing his files, you see me, I said, and this is why we need a sex registry that's public in Jamaica because, you know, people, if him can't slip people through it, come on, man, you know, sir, some little girls and little boys was getting rammed in that in private parts, you see me, I said. But speaking about little boys and little girls, people, it has been brought to my attention. And that you had teachers a part of this congregation. And that's not surprising because we've seen 
that police officers was a part of his congregation. So this for sure, you say he was a legit pastor or preacher and not a cult like how the media is trying to make him look. But besides all of them Ray, Ray, Ray people, the teachers association said they're not expecting any blowback being that they was a part of this congregation. And I beg to differ. I think some of these teachers are involved with missing students, you know what I mean? And, and possibly Jasmine Dean, who has been missing for over a year now, people. You feel what I'm saying? And she was last seen alive, um, heading into a taxi at UB University. <laughs> you see me, I said. Um, and we wonder why um, most of these cases uh, just go on go on investigator, you know? Can you have police and teach and all sorts of people in other congregation keeping their secrets? You feel what I'm saying? But I just wanted to put that out there. I just want, you know, the, the people in Jamaica who follow me to know say that your picnic teacher them is a part of this cult. <laughs> you see me, I say, and that's definitely not a good look, right? No, they really should invest in our homeschooling. The way all the world are run, you see me, I say, because you can't trust no one, not even teachers. You see me, I say, but cops need help identifying persons of interest in you. You don't know who everybody is, and this is the alleged somebody who could be a part of the church too, just doing them job for bring people pitney to um the cult, but just updating them on that. And I just want to let them know real quickly that a police had been found guilty for rape abduction in St. Thomas. Well, I mean, I know what going on with St. Thomas with the raping and the abduction, you know, but it's definitely not a good look. You see me, I say, I mean, I know if I don't want to, I breed rapists over there, so, but it's definitely not a good look. But what's so weird about this case is, people, it took 12 years to convict this rapist. So imagine how many other people was raped and abducted, you know what I mean? Because if you know, say, y'all go away for life, y'all go on, go out with our bang, you see me, I say, because they can't get no more charges, you know what I mean? And this is how they let go Brian, Davey and Brian on bail after abducting and raping somebody with firearm. And then he was able to kidnap two little children. Now, we did a review yesterday saying that he was rammed intentionally by the looking at the accident scene. And as you can see on the left-hand side, You'll see um, how exactly the ramings happened to the side back um, of the vehicle. You see my answer, people? You're going to see everybody talking about this now because I did the review yesterday. And I wonder, I've noticed about Jamaican people and they're really gullible and watch too much movies. But the pastor is not dead. They got rid of him. This was stage and all of these things, people. This was a military hit. But they need to stop watch movies and watch 48 vs. 48 and Law and Order. Because if you know anything about Mafia, which is a cult, whenever somebody gets knocked by them boys, 99% of the time, those individuals get whacked. You know what I mean? Because the rest of the crew or the cult can't take your word that you're not going to squeal on them. You know? Look at the Gambino family, um, the La Costa Nostra, the French Connection. You know what I mean? The, the, the Bloods and the Crips. You know what I mean? Man's get knocked by the boys. You got to get rid of him. You see me, I said, because we just can't trust if I'm going to talk. And if you look at these pictures, people, you know, I said some intentional ramens that are going. You see me, I said. And you know what's funny? We don't even know what happened to the other driver. We know what happened to the police officers that was in the vehicle with the preacher boy and what happened to the preacher boy. But we don't know what happened to the other driver. Maybe we'll find out today after I do this review, you know. I'm just saying it's just suspicious, people. You see, man, I said, the man gone. They took him out. This was a military hit. You feel me? And a matter of fact, people, at the same place Jay Capri did. Yep. Same place, Jay Capri did. You see me, I said. Next time, me, I go to Jamaica, me, I've had them road there. But anyway, just giving them quick updates. Don't forget to like the video at Toes in Time, people. Share it across all media platforms. We're trying to reach a broader audience, and I'm going to need your help. You see me?
WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You see me, I said. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell there for you be notified when we upload the latest in dance on news, musical reviews, and gossips. You know, I drop like three videos a day on this channel alone. You know what I mean? And I'll be dropping more on my other channels. You see me, I said. Yeah, bless.